This guide shows you how to install the TeamViewer 9 remote control software on your computer running Windows or Windows 8.1. First of all, we need to be in desktop mode. So we move our mouse or tap on the desktop tile on the start menu. This takes us into desktop mode. Okay, so now if we've got the Internet Explorer icon on our desktop down here, we can left click once on it to open up the Internet Explorer. If not, then we need to hold down the Windows key on our keyboard, which is usually in between the CTRL and the ALT key on the bottom row of the keyboard. And with that Windows key held down, just tap once the letter R. Now release the Windows key. Delete whatever's in this um, open box here, and we need to type iExplore.exe in the box. That's I for India, E for Echo, X for X-Ray, P for Papa, L for Lima, O for Oscar, R for Romeo, E for Echo, full stop, E for Echo, X for X-Ray, E for Echo. Then we click OK. Now Internet Explorer will load. Again, we go to the address bar at the top of the screen, click once just to the right of the end of the address to highlight, and then we type www full stop, T for Tango, E for Echo, A for Alpha, M for Mother, V for Victor, I for India, E for Echo, W for Whiskey, E for Echo, R for Romeo, full stop, C for Charlie, O for Oscar, M for Mother. And then we click on the little arrow just on the right hand side here. Okay, the next step is we click on this download free for private use. Left click once on this. Now, it'll ask us here, do we want to run or save TeamViewerSetup.exe? Left click once on run. This may take a little while to download depending on the speed of your connection, but when it does and it's run its security scan, we'll see another box appear on screen. Okay, so it's asking us now, how do you want to proceed? Now, we can leave this selected as install, and then it asks us, how do you want to use TeamViewer? Well, in most cases, it will be for personal use. But obviously, if you are using it for company or commercial use, then um, it's worth obviously clicking on that and, and then obviously paying to uh, subscribe to this wonderful software. Uh, but for the moment, we'll select personal use. And then we click Accept Finish. OK. Now it will come up and it will say to us, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? Make sure here that the program name is TeamViewer and the verified publisher is TeamViewer. If this is anything else, click no. If it is TeamViewer, then click yes. TeamViewer is now being installed on the uh, computer. Again, this might take a little while, depending on the speed of your computer and your connection. OK, a box here comes up with a, a bit of a guide on TeamViewer. So uh, we can click close on this once we've uh, read and understood what's on the screen. And now up comes a box on the screen which allows us to give these details here on the left under allow remote control to the person we want to remotely control our PC. So as you can see you've got a your ID there and you've got a password and you give this to whoever you want to remotely control your PC. And that's it.